Welcome to Lazada, the number one online shopping destination in Southeast Asia. In this video, we will be teaching you how to do content creation via single upload. Content creation by single upload is a way to create SKUs in Seller Center, one SKU at a time, without doing any spreadsheet uploads. The step-by-step -step process in Seller Center will require you to fill out various fields that will help define your product in the Lazada website. Currently, you have two options on how to do single upload creation. Number one, by using the information of an existing product stored in our database. Number two, by searching for your product's category. You can also opt to mass upload should you have more than 50 products. Let's get started. Log in to your Seller Center account. To create products by choosing a category, click on Products. Next, click Add Products. Then, select Search for your products category. Then, search for the respective category by entering your product's name in the search bar. Remember to choose the appropriate category of your item by determining its primary function to ensure product findability. You may then click the Select button once you've picked the deepest category string. For example, if you are creating content for a DSLR camera set, select Cameras, DSLR, then Sets. In Step 2, you will be required to provide the brand and model of your product. Please take note that you can hover over the I icon to know more about the specific attribute sections. You can also click on the Advanced view to view the non-mandatory attributes applicable to your item. Remember, a more detailed product information enables better customer understanding, which can lead to more sales. Take note that fields marked with the asterisk sign are considered mandatory and should be filled out before proceeding to the next step. Step 3 is filling in details that applies to your product. Provide name of your product in the product section. Avoid including the definers of your product's variation like storage capacity, color, and size since they will be required in the next step. However, color can be indicated for fashion SKU since color is not a part of SKU attributes for this category. When creating product highlights, focus on what makes your product special or unique. Provide at least three product highlights in bullet format. Additional highlights are highly recommended, but shouldn't go beyond eight. Provide additional information about your SKU in the product description section. Here, you can include rich media content, such as videos, by inputting the URL in the video URL field alongside the images and infographics. Avoid putting website links that redirects to other pages other than Lazada in the product long description. Remember, a product description with detailed information about a product's form and function, as well as instructions on how to use them, greatly improve customers' buying experience. Important. Make sure you own the copyright or have permission to post these rich media content. Also, make sure you provide good content writing in text format for search engine optimization, or SEO. Warranty information is considered as a mandatory attribute and should be provided across all categories. For fashion SKUs, you may opt to indicate no warranty instead. Also in the video URL, refrain from using non-YouTube links since these will be rejected by Seller Center. Step 4 enables you to create variations for your products by clicking Applicable Attributes for your SKUs. Take note that SKU attributes differ per category and choosing more than one attribute allows you to create size, memory, and color variations of your item. Variations created through the Attributes section will be available below. Click on the slider green for available, and gray for unavailable. Provide a unique seller SKU which will be used to identify your product in the warehouse. Indicate the stocks that you've allocated for Lazada. Remember that allocating stocks means you're ready to fulfill it for the specific products whenever a customer makes a purchase. The price should be inclusive of shipping fee, Lazada commission, payment fee, and others. You also have the option to include a sale date if you have any promotion to offer. For what's in the box, please follow the standard format, which is quantity times subject or product name. You can also use the format when adding items to your free items field. It is very important to add accurate package dimensions and weight for correct shipping fee calculation. 
Please take note that Seller Center's unit of measurement for length, width, and height is centimeter and for weight, it's kilograms. Do not overlook doing correct conversions. Add images for your product by clicking the image panels and selecting your pictures from your photos folder. Using the cropping tool, zoom in and out to align your photo. Once you achieve desired cropping, click Save and Close, and then the image will be uploaded for your SKU. Take note that there is a useful feature in Seller Center that allows you to copy last SKU information. This is very handy when you are creating SKUs with similar attributes. To do this, proceed to your next SKU and click the Copy Last SKU button to replicate the data from your previous variation. Remember to edit variation specifics such as seller SKU, stocks, and images in order to avoid confusion for your customers. Click Next in order to finish and submit your product. This includes the tutorial for content creation by choosing the category. There is not much difference in using the existing product information stored in our database or by using the search for your products category method to create content via single upload. When using the existing product information stored in our database method, instead of searching for the category of your product, search for the brand and the model of the item that you're trying to create in the search box. The system will automatically showcase a selection of existing product information from our database that could represent your product. Click Preview in order to ensure the accuracy of your chosen items, and then proceed by clicking Sell Yours. In Step 2, the brand, model, and other attributes will be grayed out since they've already been pre-approved and passed quality check. However, if you think the values are incorrect, you may request for them to be fixed by clicking the correct SBU button. The succeeding steps will be similar with a search for your products category method. That's it for this tutorial and we hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching!